change out from a kneeling 17 Hornet to 50 BMG and everything in between in seconds with perfect results every time. Since we first launched our original Mark I annealer back in early 2016, thousands of our customers have discovered the benefits of laboratory grade annealing. Those benefits include enhanced shot to shot consistency and of course, extended case life for that valuable brass. Our research and development is never ending. It includes work in our own lab and also consulting with other independent laboratories. This has given us much deeper knowledge of accurate, repeatable annealing. We've also had excellent feedback from our many expert customers. A number of them are world and national champions and we would like to thank them for their input and support. All this work has resulted in the development of our new Mark II annealer, which features our revolutionary new Aztec software. This gives users the independence to calibrate all their personal brass, regardless of cartridge, brand, lot number or neck wall, with exactly the same accuracy as our laboratory. We believe it is the ultimate expression of annealing made perfect. Let's look at how it works. Firstly, let's start with the basics. This is an induction annealer. That means no gas or flames. It's safe to use anywhere in the house. If there's a suitable power source, you can even anneal at the range. The interface is simple. Use the plus and minus buttons to navigate and scroll through programs, and the start button to enter or select a setting. To go back a page, press and hold minus, and then start. Selecting our new Aztec mode will show you two options, analyze and run. We have some Norma 308 here, which needs to be annealed, and we don't know the correct setting for it, so we're going to select Analyze to generate the code. This only needs to be done once for a given batch of brass. The next time you want to anneal a batch, you can simply enter the same setting. Here, it asks us to enter a pilot code. The annealer uses pilots to ensure the case is positioned consistently within the machine. So far, we have produced over 100 different pilots to suit the range of cartridges and Wildcats we have tested. These are sold separately. To find the pilot for your cartridge, visit our website and go to the Aztec settings page. Search for your cartridge and the appropriate pilot and its code will be shown. Screw in the pilot and enter the code. For 308, we are using pilot number 11 and Aztec pilot code 011B. Now we need to select a case to analyse. Here we have taken a handful of cases out of the batch and we weighed them from lightest to heaviest and we're going to choose the one in the middle. Take your shell holder and place it into the supplied brass grip and tighten it. Take the chosen case and put it into the shell holder and then into the annealer and press start. As part of the analysis, the case will be destroyed and Aztec will generate the exact annealing code which you can use now or enter the next time you want to anneal the same batch. Wait for the red light to go out before removing the case to discard it. Be very careful because it will be very hot. We're going to anneal this batch now, so we're going to select Use. And now we can start annealing. Each case only takes a few seconds. When taking them out, they can be very hot, so place them into a heat-proof tray. When using the annealer manually, doing a few hundred cases only takes about half an hour, but for those larger batches, you can use the AntMate to automate the process, leaving you free to focus on other tasks. The first time you press Start after selecting a program, the program lock will appear. It's a little asterisk. It won't let you cycle through the programs to prevent you from accidentally changing the program during a cycle. To remove it, simply hold down the plus button until it goes away and then you can start to cycle the programs again. A couple more features. As well as Aztec, we've included the original standard mode, which has all the preset programs for hundreds of different cartridges that we have tested in our lab. The Mark II also comes with vastly improved fan power 
so it's going to run all day with most cartridges. We have also built in a function which keeps the unit quiet when the extra fan power is not needed. Aztec mode on the new Mark II Anela makes it an incredibly versatile machine. From the tiniest cases to the largest, you will get the perfect anneal every time. And just as a demonstration, what we're going to do now is a bit of a live demo. Uh, we've got some 17 Hornet here and some 50 BMG. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to analyze the 17 Hornet and the 50 BMG to get their codes because we don't know the settings for them yet. And we're going to anneal uh, each one after we get its code. So we're going to start with the 17. We've already got the correct pilot for 17 loaded. Uh, so what we've got to do, and I've got my um, Aztec pilot code here for the 17 Hornet, which is 043A. I need to analyze it. So we just come in here and we select analyze on the screen. Uh, we want to select 043, so zero is already there. Uh, I want to come across and go to four, into four, three. A is already selected. So we're ready to analyze this. I've got my shell holder already in its grip. So putting the case in, into the machine, start. And that's already done. You can see the analysis has happened. I can now put that in the, I would normally discard that. I can take the second case and you can see we've got our code on the screen and it's saying use or go back. So that's our code, we would write that down normally. So I can put this case in, press start. I have to run, so now press start again, now it's running. Done, literally took less than a second and you can see that's now annealed. So now let's do the 50 cal. I wanna take out the uh, 17 pilot and insert the 50 caliber pilot, which as you can see is quite a lot bigger. <clears throat> uh, we take our 50 caliber shell holder grip, which as you can see is also a lot larger. This just screws in. And there's a little rubber insulating ring there which also uh, helps because these things uh, obviously get very hot. This just pr uh, prevents you from getting a, a warm grip. So uh, we can go back to the analyze section. We take our case put it in, it's a pretty big case. Go to analyze. Now I've got my pilot code for 50 cal here already, so 501A, so we wanna come up to five. Zero is already selected, we can go to one, and A is already selected. We're ready to analyze. This is gonna take a while, so that's now analyzing. This takes about 12 seconds. There's a lot of mass to heat up and, you know, it's pretty impressive when you actually do this the first time. Still going. Okay, it's just sort of stopped heating. Right, we've got our code. There's the 50 cal analyzed. We can discard that. It's given us our code, which is uh, 2237. We would write that down. Take our case that we want to anneal, put it into the machine, we can select use and run. Again it takes a while, it's a lot bigger than the 17 Hornet. That's now finished. There's your annealed 50 BMG. Uh, we didn't change anything in the machine, that's all. Uh, that's all it takes to change from the smallest case to the largest or any case. So there you go. We believe that our Mark II annealer redefines precision annealing. Whether you're a novice reloader or a world champion, you can get perfect annealing every time and we're very proud of that. We're even more proud of the reputation we've built up over the last few years for customer service and support. At the end of our first video in 2016, we made a commitment to ongoing research and development. We meant what we said. The science behind annealing cases during manufacture has been around for years. The science behind annealing multiple reloads, however, was virtually non-existent. 
the three research papers we've recently produced, working with independent laboratories, have changed all that. Annealing for the reloader is no longer a dark art, it's a scientific process. Our original Mark I annealer offered a new level of accuracy, but we were constantly looking at ways to improve it. Could we make it run cooler for longer? Well, yes we could. The airflow dynamics took us months to perfect. They work. Could we anneal 50 BMG? Again, yes, but only after redesigning for much more power. Could it be universal across all cartridges? That was a hard part. It took many months to perfect, but we got there. How about automation? Again, yes. It took Matt over 18 months to perfect AmpMate, but he finally produced an amazing piece of robotics. Then you add in Aztec technology, and wow, now you have a laboratory in a box. We hope you enjoy using it.